love it. I freaking love it. You should have seen me. I was just like rapidly, or Rowan, you probably saw, and Shannon, you probably saw some of it. I'm like, I'm trying to unbraid as fast as possible. (laughs) How long did it take you to get all those braids in your hair, by the way? Because I saw all of them. Um, I don't know. I did it this morning and I thought that it would take quicker than I normally do it at night and I go to sleep in it. So it's just part of the routine of like, okay, I got to do this before bed. But this morning I was like, oh, it'll just take like 20 minutes. No, it took, I don't even know how long it just, I have more (laughs) hair than I thought. (laughs) You've got very thick hair. You definitely, you got a lot of hair. I love it. It looks great. All right. Well, we are starting off with a full house today. Thank you very much, Lynette, for that, for bringing everyone over. And welcome, everyone, to the Super Sitters, Uh, (laughs) our final episode. And oh, my goodness, we have already got uh, subs being gifted anonymously all over the place. Um, An anonymous gifter is gifting them out all over the place like they are made out of candy. Um, so appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for that. Anon strikes again. Yes, indeed. Just a little <laughs> digital stocking stuffer. Woot woot. All right. Um, if you haven't met me before, I'm Rowan. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm going to be playing your DM or storyteller for this evening in our fate game of Super Sitters. And we have with us in alphabetical order, um, I think it's alphabetical for Brita, who plays Penny. Um, Shanna, who plays Adrian. Lynette, no, that's not in alphabetical order anymore. Damn it. Anyway, Lynette, <laughs> who plays Blair, and Wolfie, who plays Dimitri. All right. Who would like to play the part? Who would like to do the part of. When last we left our intrepid explorers this evening. Oh, I can. Because, y'all, the last episode was wild. It was so good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. So, so the, what happened the last episode is that Honey, that's me, is facing... Actually, hold on. Let me do this in character. Oh, my God. So, there was this crater, and it just, like appeared in front of me and my bestie Wanda disappeared and then there was like this boy inside the crater and I was freaking out because I'm like oh my god like where is Wanda and like who is this boy I just don't know what's going on and so uh it turns out the boy is Dimitri and turns out we're also best friends so we just had this like crisis of communication and expectation and like oh my god like who am I where am I when am I and like we haven't exactly figured that out yet but through the superpower of friendship all of us now have complete memories of two separate but parallel lives so like In this one life, Wanda and I became besties, and we started the Super Sitters with our really good friends, Adrian and Blair, but the other life, Dimitri and I became besties and started the Super Sitters with our besties, our good friends, uh, Blair and Adrian. So it's like two... What? How do we have two different sets of memories? Luckily, we did find out that in this universe, existence, whatever, Wanda is okay. She is just in another state. So I called her. She's fine. Don't worry. But she is in another state. And now... The four of us have to figure out why do we have two separate sets of memories. You have some ideas as to why you have two separate sets of memories. But, yeah. Yeah, that that was a pretty good overview. Um, 
there was an another key piece that happened last game that did not get mentioned. Um, it was Shanna. Um, I'm sorry. I need to be calling you by your character names. Adrian and Blair went to find out where that weird guy went. Do either of you want to fill us in on the weird teenage boy that you guys chased down? Yeah, so we broke into this house and some more like you know, we just we just do that. And there's this kid there who we kind of startled a little bit, but then we found out that he has some weird stuff going on with these people who essentially made our other friend disappear as our timelines did something wild. And um, we we think that they are chasing after him, or he thinks they are anyway. And he also has a sister who we're suspicious might be the old frenemy of our lovely Penny. So, yeah, his name is Jeff. His sister's name is Jesse. Also, Mr. Doug is sus. Mr. Doug is hella sus because he was there <laughs> in these interviews and. Nothing ever happened and resolved with this yeah. kid who's being hunted by these bad bees. They're just bad people. We can't have this. Yes. Set it on fire. So, you guys have a, <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a pretty good... Uh, oh, we're 95% down on hype train, so that's pretty awesome. Um, uh, Alright, so you guys have a pretty good grasp of where you were. Um, I don't want to railroad you guys too much. Um, I do like opening the sandbox to you all, but since tonight is our last game, I might end up doing um, glossing over some bits for brevity's sake. Just so we're clear. And thank you, Shanna, for the gifting. <laughs> yeah, we did need it. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, you guys have, when we last left our intrepid ex adventurers, you guys had um, cast the spell or used all of your powers Wrong. at once. <laughs> huh? We used all of our powers at once. All of your powers at once to try to solidify what was going on. And you made an incredible will save. And you now all have two functioning sets of memories. Um, and that was Sunday evening, I believe. Now, for the sake of brevity, um, your Penny, your folks have um, gotten you a shrink to talk to if you want to. Um, and said shrink is a specializes in supers and is a super herself and is willing to have, she's willing to have a group session with you all to help you through this difficult time. Um, but I don't want to have to role play out the whole session. And it is something that you had mentioned you had won the last time. So if you guys have any questions for her, then you can ask those now and I can just answer them. Um, but otherwise, we'll just say you guys have gone to counseling and you're feeling better about it. I'm okay with just saying we've gone to counseling unless someone else has a question. Yeah, I'm mostly fine about that. But, like, do we ask about separate timelines? This is a safe space where you can ask anything and I will not tell anyone what you say in here, not even your parents. Okay, so, like, I just have, like, a hypothetical question, mm -hmm. you know, since there are so many different superpowers, and, like, we haven't necessarily met all of the supers and, like, know all of the superpowers yet. So, like, hypothetically, what if somebody changed time, like, like time traveled, and then changed time, and then created an alternate timeline and then like what if somebody else who's a super 
and maybe their stupor is like sensitivity to time and so then they have memories from two separate timelines is that a thing that's been documented or could happen just hypothetically speaking that's a very interesting entirely hypothetical question um, and very specific for hypothetical however hypothetically if that were to occur um, yes people with superpowers who can fluctuate through time have been documented um, okay. it does not usually go well for them if they travel through time a lot mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it has a tendency to mess with their head because when you're traveling through timelines it causes multiple memories to occur because you remember your previous life, but now you've got a new life and you lived both of them at the same time. Um, it can, the older you get and the more you change in the timeline, the worse it is. Um, if you're very, very young, it's not that bad. Like if you've only been alive five years and you move through time and change history, it's not that bad because you've only got five years worth of memories to rewrite. But if you're, say, 50 and you rechange something from when you were five, you've got 45 years worth of memories that you rewrite, and that can cause some, some brain damage. So the people who are time travelers usually have to be very careful of that type of situation. So if you hypothetically know a time travel traveler, I would advise you to hypothetically inform them that they just need to be very careful about that. Um, because I so, like, make I hurt. don't know a time traveler. I mean, uh -huh. I know a lot of supers, mm -hmm. but I have yet to meet a time traveler. Um, I'm just like, what if a time traveler changes things and it affects other people? Oh, who are not time travelers. Well, when a time traveler changes time most people mm -hmm. won't notice it unless they have otherwise strong mental capabilities and then they will notice. And um, are they at risk of brain damage? Not if it only happens a couple of times um, because again, they're not the ones changing time. Time has been changed to them and they're only going to have to experience that for however long it does it. But if they are the time traveler, if the time traveler is rewriting their life dozens, if not hundreds of times, that would be a very bad thing. Um, but if it only happens to you a couple of times, um, most people don't even notice it. Their minds just snap to the new reality, the new paradigm and stick there um, because it's easier for them to just accept what is in front of them than to hold on to the memories that existed before. But people who have strong mental capabilities have, you know, even if they're not a time traveler, can hold on to both sets of memories. But it often requires effort on their part. Thank you so much for answering my questions. I just, you know, I love to learn. And so I'm just always asking questions. Um, so I just have one other incy wincy little question. Um, mm -hmm. What do you know about the school counselor? Like, is the school counselor, um, like, super duper credentialed, you know? Or is the school counselor just like, they couldn't find anybody and they decided to well, make that person the well, school Well, let's counselor. see. You're and going to Sunnydale High, uh, Sunnydale Junior High, right? <laughs> so <laughs> your counselor would be Mr. Doug Lynn. Um, I don't know Mr. Doug Lynn personally, but I do believe that he, I mean, it shows here that he is credentialed as a counselor, as a multilinguist counselor, in fact. Um, and, yeah, but like anybody can speak multiple languages, you know. Yeah. Um, and it does look like he's been working at your school for about two years now. And there's never been like any complaints brought about him or anything like that. Um, I, I don't know. I haven't met him. I can reach out to the board 
um, the people who oversee um, licensing for psychiatry and things like that and, and check to see if there are any things against him. It'll just take a little tappity tap tap, tappity tap. No, I don't show that. anything. No, no, I nothing. don't show anything in here, but I honestly don't show any records of him in here long, older than two years, which is, um, maybe he just got out of college and just got his license and then a school job. Um, I don't, I haven't met him personally, so I don't know. Um, he doesn't. I mean, he like seems kind of old to be just out of college. I mean, like maybe he just went back to school. I don't know. But Could thank be. you so much for looking. I, I, I think I can speak for the group mm-hmm. when I say that I think we're all just a little bit more comfortable speaking with somebody who's at your level of expertise and not a school counselor. Yes. Well, um. I don't mean to be rude to him, but you do get what you pay for. And, and my parents have lots of money. Yes, they do. Um, if they didn't, you wouldn't be in my office. And so I wouldn't just, I just wouldn't worry about it too much, sweetie. <laughs> um, but if you have any, or your friends have any questions, um, I your parents have my my emergency number so if you ever have want to talk to me again that's that's not a problem at all you can come in at any time all right thank you Bye. yeah her monthly income is probably his annual so uh, <laughs> all right so if you guys are done with did anyone else have any questions for the um super powered psychiatrist no all right we're good um so if it's okay with you we're gonna fast forward a week all right it's been a week you guys have settled down into what's happened since all of that crazy life is back a bit to normal you've got two five-star reviews on google from your previous babysitting jobs um you have a five-star review from um, Lizzie, no, I'm sorry, not Lizzie, Louise, her mom, um, for, and it specifically said in the message how she liked how you guys were available when she had an emergency situation, and so she gave you a five-star review. The other one is from a gentleman who uh, says, Barry, who says that his child is very introverted but really loves um, these sitters and has requested multiple times for them to return multiple times. So <laughs> he will probably be using them again. And it also, co- in his comments, he says how much he likes your sliding scale for incomes since he's a one income family and it's very hard for him to be able to afford um, daycare for his child. So congratulations, you have two five-star reviews. Google is happy and sends you out to others. <clears throat> so it is a, you guys pick up your cl- your um, things on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, right? Sure. Because I Probably. think that's what I had in the notes. Yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. That's, what the, yeah. that's the Babysitter's Club schedule, so I think that's what we went with. Okay. So um, it is a random Thursday after that. Um, Thursday is when you have cheer practice and there's also art club after school. Um, so what are you guys doing after school this Thursday? Well, I know what she's doing, but what are the rest of you doing after school that day? (laughs) Blair, are we, uh, hanging out in the woods or what are we doing? I need to find a new friend. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, we're trying to find Blair and your friend in the woods. Are are you? Oh shoot! Sorry, I just dropped my pen. Are you with us, Dimitri, or are you doing something else? What would the art club be doing right now? Um, probably pottery, because it's getting <laughs> yeah, later fall. Them. You're with them. All right. Yeah. So, um. You guys are wandering through the woods looking for another dead critter, correct? Yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. 
Let's see what happens when three normal teenagers or preteens, excuse me, are looking for dead animals. Normal? <laughs> normal. Yeah, yeah we're normal. <laughs> we're totally normal. normal. What do you mean, Blair? Why would you say that like that? <laughs> I'm normal. You're normal. Dimitri's normal. Yeah. Duh. Um, congratulations. <laughs> you do find an ex squirrel. A squirrel that is past tense. World that is past end. Um, this is Arthur. While you are getting Arthur up and moving, you hear quite a commotion from the direction of the street. Okay. Can I see the street from where I am, or do I need to get closer? You're probably going to need to get a little bit closer, because remember, the woods are surrounded by houses, so there's woods, okay. house, then street. Uh, did y'all hear that? As I'm shoving Arthur in my pocket. Okay. So I'll, I'll stealthily go over, just because I we've already had some situations in the woods. <laughs> Blair's gonna be ke uh, careful this time, getting closer, so she's not seen. Alright. Um, it is a school bus drop-off for the high schoolers. Is there anything unusual there? <laughs> like, um, the who's getting off the bus? Um, Jeff and several oh. other surly gentlemen. Oh, does he look like he's in trouble? Not really. Um, he's... When they come up to him, like, you see one come up to him and start talking to him. And he turns around and looks at them and says something. And then the dude who was talking to him walks away and he keeps walking towards home. So he seems to not be engaging with those gentlemen and they're not engaging with him. They all got off the bus. They all got off the bus, yes. Okay. Uh, have we, we talked to, to Jeff since, or within the week? No, Did you have get, not. Oh, no. Has he contacted us? Um, you have gotten several voicemails on the Super Sitters line that sounds like someone effectively ding-dong niching. They call, but they don't leave a message. They hang up. Okay. Um, so, let's, so, go, let's go talk to him, yeah? Yeah. I'm, um, as we walk over, though, I'm, gonna, I'm going to um, call that number just to see if he, like, the one that keeps Look. ringing you and... Yeah, 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 yeah. And ditching? Okay. Um, you call that number, and you see Jeff um, pick up his phone and then hit end and put it back in his pocket. And your phone says uh, the person did not answer kind of thing. It goes straight to voicemail. Rude. All oh, right, that's I'll rude. It's so rude. We just, got, we just got ignored. Are you kidding like, me? Like, why are you going to call over and over if you're not going to answer? I don't know. Yeah, I think we should go mm -hmm. talk to him. All right. I'll follow your lead, Blair. So are you guys going to just walk up to him from the woods? Are you going to stalk him through the woods? What are you guys intending to do here? I think stalking him through the woods seems way more like our M.O. Yeah, and we also know, like, we yeah. went through the woods when we first met him, so we probably could remember like oh yeah here's that fence that we blasted through <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem to be walking in the direction of his house well he's not going home oh all right he mm. is walking in the direction of school oh your school even though he just got off the bus from there he oh, got off cool. the bus from okay. high school and he's walking towards oh, your to middle our school, school. Oh. he doesn't go to our school okay okay that's right. That's Does right. Does he go to Sunnydale right. High? We go to junior high. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good in the woods if y'all are good in the woods. I'm good in the woods. Oh, yeah. All right. Then you proceed to stalk Jeff um, through the woods <laughs> for several blocks. Um, totally normal kids. <laughs> totally normal childhood behavior just out of school fee. Um, he is beginning after a block or so to act a little nervous. I don't know why. 
Um, is Arthur up and rocking with us, or he, oh, yeah. he keeps Arthur, looking Arthur over his shoulder it. and generally being oh. creeped out. Well, I don't know, Adrian. Should we like should play like some? Should you play a song and I'll just have little Arthur pop up and be like, "Hey, friend." What kind he of mood do you pretty, want me to have? Like a what kind of mood like, do you want me to bring? He seems so stressed right now. Do you see him? He's just acting real twitchy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right. I'll just hum something like really soothing that will definitely calm him down. Um, at first, he seems terrified that he's suddenly now hearing humming coming from the woods. <laughs> <laughs> but does appear to calm down after a moment and then seems to freak out that he's calming down because there's humming coming from the woods and crosses the street yeah. <laughs> well that didn't work out <laughs> Should he I at least wait for the again? crosswalk <laughs> no he jaywalks his ass across the street <laughs> okay at this point I'll just be like Hey, Jeff! Like, a loud whisper. <laughs> We're not awkward at all! <laughs> Jeff jumps about a half foot into really? the air. Not a full foot, so not that bad. But he's jumpy and um, strikes his best Jackie Chan pose between himself and you guys and then sees who it is and, like, puts his hands on his knees and goes, like, God damn it. Dude, you've got to stop trying to attack us. We're, we're just coming to say hi. You're so jumpy. What's up? <laughs> uh, uh, it's just... You guys. You scared the... I thought the people were chasing me again. You scared the bejesus out of me. Oh. That's what we do. We hang out in the woods. You kids are creepy. You know that, right? Thank you. Yeah, I figured you'd find that a compliment. <laughs> All right. Got your sort of voicemails. Ugh, I so many. He starts walking in the general direction of towards you, but also still towards school. Are you going to start walking with him, or are you going to like make him stop and talk to you? I think we should just walk with him. Yeah, there's... Yeah, I'm fine with walking. Fine. All right, the walk and talk is real. Um, <laughs> so he's walking with you, and he's like, I, sorry, I'm just jumpy, and I'm sorry about all the voicemails because I kept trying to figure out what to say, and it all sounded really stupid when I practiced it in my head. And so I tried to call, and then it came out really lame. And then I'm like, I'm calling middle schoolers for advice. What was wrong with me? And so I hung out. Okay. No offense. Well, we're here but... now, so you can just tell. Look, we have seen some pretty weird stuff. I'm sure it's not that weird. Yeah, we have. Well, you guys saw the two people that the weird people the guy and the girl that keep yeah. showing up right mm -hmm. yeah well the other day i had seen them at the grocery store and i went to their house to confront them and they had two kids with them and they were trying to convince me that it would be best for me if i stayed there or if i went with them and then cops showed up, and I freaked out, so I GTFO'd. And then you guys showed up at my house. And I haven't seen them since, but they never just leave me alone. They always show back up. So I'm just on super edge about all of this. But you guys said you knew stuff about these people, so I wanted to know what you know. Yeah. Why would you confront them if you're always trying to run away from them? Because I'm sick of this, man. They've made... I've had to convince my parents to let us move 
over a dozen times because of this shit. Excuse my language. <laughs> He's talking to kids. All right. <laughs> yeah. Is there an equivalent like of like an insight plan? check? <laughs> yes, there is. You have a very high notice. Oh, okay. Also, if anyone has good rapport or anything like that, they can tell his emotional state or empathy. Yeah, empathy. Okay. Go ahead and roll, guys. Okay, I have four total. I got four as well. Okay. Um, you can notice that he's twitchy. He's freaked out. He's got bags under his eyes. He probably hasn't slept in a while. Right? Um, Dimitri, you can tell that he is stressed to his teeth. Um, and he's freaking out, obviously. And um, he seems like he's not trusting in himself. You get the sensation that he's not trusting himself. He's, he's needing validation that he's not crazy. And they, you know, like, I think we should tell him what happened. They're like really quiet though. Are you sure? He needs to trust us. Can we trust him? He's the only one who's gone through kind of what we've gone through. Are we the right. only five people in the world that know these other two people exist? Because that's going to be a problem. We can't be. There's got to be other people. No, Maybe whoever these them. kids' parents are know these other kids that they've got. Let's see if he's actually capable of overhearing you guys' conversation. <laughs> um, no, that is not his strong suit, and not with that role. So <laughs> he's not very he's attentive. He's, he's, he's noticing that right you guys him. are doing the. <laughs> he's like, seriously, I'm momentarily spending time with middle schoolers. <laughs> when was the last time you slept? I feel um, like we just need to, like, chill. Where are you going, even? I have to go pick up my sister from school. She's got uh, cheer, and then when cheer is over, I have to walk her home. Because, mm. um, reasons. Uh, yeah. So do you have crazy stalker people? Yes, but she doesn't believe me, and my parents, I'm pretty sure, they might believe me. I don't know. They've moved. I tell them to move, and they move at least. But that's good. Yeah. So. You don't know. Yeah, no. I was gonna say like, cause Mr. Doug. You told us about a guy named Doug, or did he say that his name was Doug? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The guy who worked at CPS when I when I called it in the one time. So that guy is the counselor at our school. Is it the same Doug? I mean, there's got to be more than one Doug, right? Well, he was the guy that was also with the clipboard when we tried to get help. Seriously? Yeah. If we can get him, we can prove it. Well, uh, you want to capture it? What do you mean, get him? <laughs> Sorry. I've been playing too many video games. But, like, <laughs> he could prove it, right? If he's a connecting... Th God, I don't know how this stuff works in the real world. But if he's a connecting thread, we can, like, use him to find the other part, right? Yeah, but we think he's bad. Yeah, I don't well, trust yeah. him. But you guys said you had superpowers. Maybe you could, like, take him down. An adult? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I probably didn't think that went out very far. 
Basically, I don't know. all I do is scare people, and you know that best by now, I think. Yeah, you're pretty scary. Congratulations, you you accomplished Adrian that through very well. Adrian does beautiful music. Mm-hmm. Dimitri Thanks. does beautiful art. Like we just have like I don't know if we can take down someone <laughs> like that. Yeah, but it freeze time so we could tie him up, I guess. Oh yeah, that's, that's the kind of talk time. I'm talking that's, about. That's like, are we gonna try and kidnap an adult? I'm in. Wait, what if, <laughs> do you think this Doug guy has powers? I don't know. He might. Because I mean, an adult with powers versus us kids with powers doesn't seem doesn't seem like. I mean, if he choice. has any idea what's going on and he's in with the, like, the I don't guys, have any powers. He, he might. And my sister doesn't have any powers, and my parents don't have any powers. You and... think? I mean, like, we haven't gotten an MKG or anything, but, or an MEG or whatever that magnetic encephalocardiogram, whatever the, the letters are for that. Anyway, we haven't had one of those, so, I don't know. Did My parents are kind of frozen time. I'm really calm and, like, really in the groove, maybe a half hour. But I can tell you kidnapping somebody is not going to be a calm experience. No, it's not. I was just thinking of, like, if we need to, like, run. Would we Has there ever been a situation where I've been able to use my music to keep you calm? In the last episode, you did. That's true. Oh, yeah. So if you keep me calm and I hold on to everybody while... I freeze time, then they should be able to tie him up while you're keeping me calm. Yeah. Dude. Would we go to jail for Are this? We, we could no. go to jail. And if they catch us. Mm-hmm. Plus, we're but juvenile, so no. I hear the harmonicas in jail. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're under 18. We won't oh. be doing any time. Did you say harmonica? According to that song. Yeah, you know, like you. Yeah, I play harmonica. I could, get, I could probably do well for harmon for jail then. <laughs> yeah, it would be fine. I can, I can make music. Blair, oh I'm sure gosh. you can find some dead shit in there, right? Penny's gonna kill us. <laughs> Penny's gonna kill us. Oh, you know what? Penny but... can out. She's super stretchy. I bet she could like break out of jail real easy. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, either way, the school's right there, and I can hear the cheerleaders. So, um, I, I feel like we I don't want you to be taking you. offense with this, but I don't know if we should walk in at the same time. But, okay, what if what if Doug grabs you or those people show up? Like, I think you need backup. Why are you embarrassed to be with us and when we walk into school at the same time? Our friend Penny's at cheer practice. We could just have run across yeah, each just, other. Yeah. If you want to pretend to not know each other, that's fine. We'll just keep that's like. That's fair. It's just. Okay. All right. All right. It's already uncool enough that I have to go pick up my little sister. I mean, I might as well add some other layers of uncool with other kids. You know, life is much easier if you just stop caring about what other people think. I'm a not 16 to mention, year old. I think we're pretty cool. I'm a 16 year old teenage boy. The only thing I care about is what other people think. And food. Bad. I like Sweet. snacks too. Oh, snacks. Snacks, snacks are awesome. Yes. You wanna you wanna get some snacks? <laughs> this game always <laughs> <laughs> devolves into it's time for snacks. There's a vending machine right there. <laughs> so Penny, you guys are finishing your cheer. You've been practicing the new cheer that you've been teaching everybody. Um, and everyone seems to be catching on to it really well with the appropriate number of backflips, and no one's broken anything, so very important. When um, it's about time to wrap up, you see the gang showing up with some 16-year-old dude um, who's looking like, well, a 16-year-old dude. Hi, Dimitri. Hi, Blair. Hi, Adrian. It is so nice when you guys come and meet me after cheer practice. We had such a good session today. And who is your friend? 
Um, hi, I'm Jeff. This is I'm, Jeff. I'm here to pick this up my sister. Jeff. Remember? <laughs> oh my god, Jeff, you are such a good big brother to come pick up your sister. Thanks. Jess is currently busy acting like she doesn't see what's going on and is like, do you guys shower after practice or something? I'm assuming you head to the showers. Um, I mean, I don't know about what kind of fancy middle schools y'all went to, but yeah, I think we did not have practice. Yeah. All right. Well, I don't know. You just, I never you just shower when you get home. Okay. So um, people are beginning to disperse and head to their you know, their particular things and those who ride the bus are headed that way. And he's standing there waiting for his sister and she's like awkward sea turtling. So awkward sea turtling. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, that's she, guys. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm here to pick up my sister, but more importantly, Jess, these are the kids I was talking to you about. And she proceeds to roll her eyes so hard it's nearly audible. I'm about to pull out Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just giving her kind of like a, an, an eye. Oh, so this is your sister. We were yeah, right. Yeah, this is Jess. These are the kids who broke into my bedroom and our house. And kids who broke into our house, this is my sister, Jessie. Jess. Um, Jesse, just so that we're clear, your brother is not talking about me because I would never engage in breaking and entering. No, uh, he's talking about us. Uh, but to be fair, he was real freaked out. So she she gives her brother the eyebrow and is like, "Really? Because um, he made it sound like you guys broke in and he uh, fought you off and." made you cry and tell him all of your secrets and then kicked you out of the house. Uh, yeah. No, I don't cry. Um, but, you know, it's okay. It's fine. We're best friends now. Right, Jeff? <sighs> I'm just trying to make him <laughs> as uncomfortable as possible. <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about getting snacks together. Mm, so. Yeah. Snacks. Uh, um... Yeah, so I may have stretched that truth a little bit. Anyway, these guys can prove that those two weird people I'm always telling you about are real. And Jess is like, oh, God, not that again. Um, Jesse, like, they, they are. And they are probably even weirder than you have, could ever imagine. He keeps saying that there are these people who are following us around and whenever he talks to our parents, when I'm not there, she puts her hands on her hips specifically when she says that part. When I'm not there, he's able to convince them that we need to move. And I am sick and tired of moving. Oh, Jesse, I... Do you know how hard it is to make friends? She turns to you specifically, Penny. Do you know how hard it is to make friends when you move? 12 times in less than 12 years? Jesse, I am so sorry. That sounds incredibly stressful. And I completely understand, like, why you're upset. And do you, do you want a hug? No, no, I'm fine. I really just okay. want my parents to stop believing his BS, and let us just live somewhere. Well, okay, so alternate solution. What if my friends and I come up with a way to get these people to stop tracking your brother? And then your family could stay here. And honestly, it would be so great because you have been an amazing addition to the cheer squad and I would hate to lose your talent. I appreciate that. Thank you. Of course. <sighs> okay. If you guys can figure out some way that we can, she looks at her brother with the dagger look, that we can stop moving, I would very much appreciate it. It's not like Jeff likes to move either. Like, uh, I mean, 
Do you? Right, Jeff? No, no. I, it sucks. I think this is the real solution that Penny's offering, is we gotta stop the situation. We have to mm-hmm. deal with it. So, kidnapping. Wait, what? Wait, what? No, uh- <laughs> Uh, well, see, um, we have to Penny, get into it, Dimitri. Penny, Penny, we'll fill you in in a minute. I'm sorry. I don't... Um, Jeff, go ahead and take your sister home and call us when you're done. You I won't answer, you. but someone will answer, okay? All right. And as he's walking away, holding Jess's hand, he's like, I told you that it's super important that you not walk home by yourself, and yet you keep trying to do it. And she's like, I can take care of myself, blah, blah, blah. And they walk off into the, off towards their house. Okay, so I am sure that I just heard the wrong word, but, um, I can't. You I mean, is it kidnapping if it's an adult? It's an option. Well, yeah. There are many options. It was just one idea. Okay. Maybe uh, we could go back to the drawing board and come up with other ideas. So basically what we're thinking is that Mr. Doug. Oh, yeah. Super. You know, he is connected, but I don't know what we should do about that. Uh, Confront him. Take him. Well, this was actually Jeff's idea, so that's probably why it was bad like take care of him like he he started it and you know how we are like we're always up for adventure so basically we're trying to figure out how to use mr doug to help us take care of those two people should we investigate mr doug's office yeah i bet it's nearby i bet he's got some like dirt in there yeah oh yeah we can do the breaking and entering okay let's break in you want to break in in, like is there any test we can do to find out if he does have powers? Like, just from the stuff in his office, maybe? He might He might have something written down somewhere. In his computer. Oh, I can have somewhere. the computer again. Or you can help me with he, that. Yeah. We got this. Okay, so... I'm not, like, super crazy about the whole breaking and entering idea. Um, and... I personally cannot be involved because then that could end up on my permanent record and then I might not get into Harvard. But what if you're just my lookout? You can be the lookout. So what if I have my psychiatrist call Mr. Doug and say that I really am like having, well, I call my psychiatrist. I'm like, oh my God. I like super duper need to have an intense session with you and Mr. Doug. Yeah. Um, because okay. he can under he can relate to the whole school thing, but you have more credentials than he does. And that way I pull him away from the school so that you guys definitely know he's not gonna be in his office. And then and you'll text us can... if there's any problem. Yeah. Because yeah. then okay. they can meet and then if she I... Right, yeah. and then she can also, I can be like, look, yeah. I am just concerned about the other students at school. I just think that everyone deserves access to really good mental health care. And the fact that he doesn't have any sort of record, like, like good digital credentials before, like, two years ago. Yeah. So maybe we can just have, like, a little joint sesh and mm. we can talk about all the problems that I'm having. But you can also evaluate his skills as a counselor. Yeah, I like and I think idea. with three of us in his office, it'll probably go faster. Like, we'll probably, mm-hmm. instead of just me trying to, like, I know it, I, w- I wasn't supposed to be down there, but it took a long time for me to get stuff. So I think this is a good plan. Well, also, I like, like Dimitri can temporarily freeze time. <gasps> yes. And He's then not you guys there, are, like, be in panicked. that bubble Brilliant. of that. So, like, could that be the second layer of protection so that y'all yeah. don't get caught? That he yeah. could freeze time while y'all search the office. I love it. I don't yeah. see why not. Yeah. Okay. Also, there's a vending machine on the way, Adrian. Oh, that's good because I'm out of snacks right now. So. Um, I have a whole bunch of carrot sticks mm-hmm. and I have some applesauce pouches. And, Do you have hummus uh, to go with your carrot sticks? Please. Okay, well then, yeah. Well, that's fine. We don't need to go to the vending machine. Yeah. It's fresh. 
hummus. My mom just made the hummus yesterday. Your mom makes the best hummus, Benny. Right? Okay. <laughs> All right. So for the sake of brevity, you call your shrink. She's willing to do the thing you said um, and is able to set up an appointment with him this afternoon because he's apparently available after 5. Um, so you guys can do this after 5 p.m. local your time. Okay. Excuse me. Hiccups. You're good. Okay, so I, I I tell all of them this, and then I go to my house and have the joint session with my psychiatrist and Mr. Doug. Yep. And mm-hmm. I text them updates that I'll be like, all right, Mr. Doug is at my house. All right, you have received the text that Mr. Doug is at Penny's house, and a fluffy Merlin is trying to be in the way. All right. So, do we is the school unlocked, or do we have to break into the school and the office? Oh, this is modern day, so the school would be locked. But let's say that since there's after school activities, you can still get into the building. It's just most of like the classrooms and stuff are individually locked. Okay. So let's find our way to Mr. Doug's office. Okay. And then I guess it's gonna be. My job to break into the office, probably, yeah. Well, Is who has the best burglary? Do I have keys? I also have an investigative, too. Okay. Me, too. I have investigate, two, and then breaking and entering, three. So, And then stealth, four. I have deceive. I have stealth, three. Ooh. All right. Ooh, well, and I have craft. I have deceive, <laughs> three, as well. I think and craft you too. all we should be good. Bunch. All right. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to craftily break in entering. Excellent. I'm going to craft yes. a key. Yeah. <laughs> craftily like and, craftily and like... stealthily break and enter into the office. Uh-huh. All right. Well, um, I am going to, Adrian, I need you to roll for your um, B and E. Okay. So three, four, five, and that's nothing. Four, four. All right. It's just uh, the locks here are embarrassing. It's just a pick and rake. You can use the raking tool and you're in. So, like, no problems. Two bobby pins okay. and you got it. Two bobby pins and you got it. <laughs> All right. So. Once in the office, what's in there? What do we see around us? It is a windowless, tiny school counselor office. Like, there's enough right room for a desk we and walk a chair. In, right before we walk in, I want to try to freeze time so that if there's, like, oh, a camera in this room again, <laughs> it doesn't catch us. <laughs> again. Good choice. All right. <laughs> so you freeze time. And take the two of them in there so you guys have however long he can hold the time. And we'll be checking on that periodically. Um, He's let you in. um, So the hands are not moving on the clock. The breeze is not coming through the air conditioning unit or the heater unit, whichever it would be this time of year there. And um, yeah, it's a tiny windowless office with one of those hang in there posters with a kitten on it. <laughs> All right, is there a computer? Are there files? Yeah, there's a computer, but it's probably older than you are. And there's oh, a I file cabinet with some bookshelves <laughs> on top. All right, Blair, you work on the computer. I'll take a look at the files. Dimitri, are you good? Yeah. I'm good right now. Okay. You let me there know. There was no changes. camera, right? Did you search for one? Is there a camera? I'll I'll use my notice. All right, roll <laughs> for it. Uh, note it. Four again. <laughs> you thankfully have a um addition to this. Um that's a very familiar teddy bear <gasps> on the shelf. You're familiar with this teddy bear because you've seen that teddy bear in somebody else's house. Is that the exact same one or is it just like the same kind? It's the teddy bear that they advertise as the 
nanny monitoring bear so oh <laughs> time's frozen flip that shit over yeah so i'm going to like i'm going to aggress because blair's frustrated with this freaking teddy bear that everyone seems to have so i'm going to like kind of like aggressively shake the bear like i want to kill it and then i'll just shove it like in underneath like uh a cushion or something i imagine if there's like a chair or like a couch or something there all right you can do that Stupid bears. Stupid bear. Gosh. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start looking through the files. All right. Um, how good are you with computers? Do you have a skill that you think would be helpful in this situation? Oh, I was meaning physical, physical. files. Oh, physical files. Okay. Do you have a skill that you think would be helpful in this situation? <laughs> Uh, I have investigate, and I also have a little bit of notice. Okay. Um, you can, I'm going to have it so that you don't even need to roll. One of the drawers is okay. locked. Okay. Um, the one that isn't locked has things in there like class ske bell schedules and um, no, like, student files or anything like that but lots of like no like sticky notes yeah. with stuff written on them yeah but nothing that has apparent anything about students in there that you see all right i want to break into the locked one okay you're gonna have to roll for it okay you don't I'm have to roll high breaking and entering roll. <laughs> so three four three two two all right um, so it actually gives you more fight than the door. <laughs> like, this might be a three bobby pinner as opposed to a two bobby pinner. Okay, okay. Um, but you do eventually get the lock to pop. All right. Um. What's in there? There are the folders that are hanging. It, you know, the ones that you have that it, they go across and they're on a little hook. So yeah. They, yeah. So it's a bunch of those. And there's like right. big dividers showing like this is fifth grade, this is sixth grade, you know, and stuff like that. And then there's all these little files in there. Are they like labeled with student names or anything? Um, yes, but roll your investigation. Okay. That is okay. Oh no, don't lose the dice. Hold on, I lost the dice. <laughs> <laughs> I got let's see two, four, three. Three. All right. Um, when you're moving some of the files back and forth, it's dragging weird. Like there's something under the hangy part. Okay. So I'm gonna pick up the files so I can get to whatever's underneath them. Wait, is it trapped? There are files. There is a file underneath them. Okay, so I want to I want to take that file. All right, you pull out that file, and it inside of it is one of your super sitter flyers that has a hole in it, so it was probably pinned on a bulletin board somewhere. And there's um, a picture from your. Um, when you had the party and everybody was there for the party mm -hmm. um, where you had the dead animals performing. Um, <laughs> there's two pictures. There's one specifically of the dead animals and like zoomed in. And then there's one of generally everybody there. And then there's a couple pictures of you guys like after school hanging out. Oh, Oh, Guys, I think somebody's been stalking us. Somebody? Like oh. Mr. Doug? <laughs> Look at these pictures. Oh, no. I'm going to snap a photo of everything with my camera, or my phone, mm -hmm. and send it to Penny. And our group message. Penny, Mr. Doug is standing right next to you, and you receive a text <laughs> from them. So... I, I am in the middle of a really long and detailed uh, hypothetical question. 
that I have <laughs> decided to ask. I said that I'm thinking about taking up creative writing and I want to be as realistic as possible. But I I get this text. I, I like hear my, my phone ding. I have a special uh, like sound for them. Like, oh my God. Do y'all mind if we take like a five minute break? I am just a little thirsty from all of this amazing talking and I just need to get some water. So I'm gonna go to the kitchen, get some water. Mr. Doug, do you want some water? Doctor, do you want some water? Um, yes, yeah, some, uh, excuse me. Yes, yeah, some, some tap water would be fine. Thank you. Okay, yeah, Mr. And Doug. That was Mr. Doug, yes. Oh, and yeah. um, the, the lady, is like yes um if you have some avion that would be lovely um okay so like we don't do bottled water in our household <laughs> okay however we do have like a super duper filter on our fridge okay as long as it's filtered i appreciate that very much thank you okay <laughs> great <laughs> tepid water please <laughs> So I run out of the room, I go up to the kitchen, I make sure that the coast is clear. I look at my phone and I obviously am like, oh my God, like, and all this is in my head, okay? I'm not saying this stuff out loud. Um, oh my God, has Mr. Doug been stalking us? Like, okay, it's not a big deal that like he has the babysitting flyer because like we obviously put those everywhere and like it was a massive party because Everybody wants the super sitters, but the photos of us hanging out after school is so weird. So I text that back that that is like <laughs> freaking me out. And then I ask them if they want me to ask anything like of Mr. Doug during my session. And then while I'm waiting for the text is when I get down three glasses that are obviously all different colors um, so that everyone has their own little distinct color. And then I fill up our water. Excellent. All right. You get a awesome. text from are Penny. You... Are you going to react? Oh, wait. The text you're going to get from Penny is going to come after you wait, leave the time yeah. bubble because she received her text through the time bubble. So. Oh, oh I forgot about the time bubble. So they're, oh, no, longer okay. in the, they're no longer in the... Okay. Whatever they do text me is when the time bubble has ended. So we're we're not quite linear yet. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, They're still fine. in Imagine a time. Imagine you like snap tons of pictures. Any, and anybody just, walks like, into our bubble, they just freeze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're just walking and then they're like. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. Right. So other things do you want to do while you've still got the time bubble going? I've rolled and you're still holding on just fine at this point. Okay. Um, the I don't computer. need to have you fight against me. So how's the computer going? Blair versus the computer. Um, I want to use my notice to like, I don't even know if this is the same sort of approach as like, find the big button to turn it on and see like what happens. Turning it on is not a problem. Okay. It has a password. Okay. Um, it is a... I don't know if you've ever tried to log into a school computer, but they're all virtual desktops. <clears throat> so uh -huh. you log into each ID. So it has his ID up there saved. Yeah. Um, and then it's got the password section. Is there like a little question that's like hit <laughs> or like, you know, those things that, that are like, uh, give, remember my password. Yes, there is that, that hint button. Okay, Your password it. hint button. <laughs> if you hit the password hint button, it is a collection of ones and zeros. Uh, Y'all, we have another coded thing to crack. No, oh, no. <laughs> All right, what is it? Okay, it's a bunch of ones and zeros. Wait, can I just like type this into Google? Will that give me anything? Well, okay. you'd have to restart time in order for Google to be oh, able to darn answer it, your question. Darn it. Okay. All right. I'll just say okay. Like, there's like ones and zeros. I feel like, I feel like I remember something in class, like, with, you know, coding, coding, and the ones and zeros like correspond to something. 
Dimitri, come look at this. Or can you hold time and look at this too? <laughs> yeah, you should be able to. Okay. Does my breaking and entering also apply to technology? Oh, I have lore. You do have the stunt of you've read about it. Uh, well, I, think I have that's lore petty, as well. But I have a plus two oh, lore. Two. Okay. What All is right. your lore, Dimitri? Is it higher? Two. Oh, okay. No, it's the same. Can we right. combine and both use our lore? You can both <laughs> attempt, yes. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm going to use a fate point and re-roll that because it was poor. <laughs> How many fate points do we get? You get four. Four? Okay, yeah, I'm going to re-roll as well. <laughs> uh, right, second man. time, I got a three. Okay. And I got a four the second time. Okay. Well, that sounds like you both did much better the second time round. Um, yes. <laughs> it is definitely binary. It is a it is a four letter word or number key or something. Okay. Uh, so four letter Doug. word. <laughs> Doug. Doug. <laughs> Doug's well, password is Doug. I don't want I don't want to put the wrong thing in and then it'll just be like me, you know, and then I don't know. Do we know binary? I don't know binary. I don't remember the class, but I, I don't remember the, what we learned. But um, I drew this really cool picture in it. <laughs> so uh, I rolled, and Wolfie, you're going to have to roll um, your will or something yeah. along those lines to be able to continue to hold time at this point because your focus is slipping. Okay. So I got a five. All right. Well, you're fine. My will is three. Okay. <laughs> you're fine. You can still hold time. So let's see. We have we have some suggestions from the chat. I know. Time. I like time. Doug. Boss. I like boss. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Mm. Can uh, no, because the the hint is the thing. I was gonna say, can I investigate and try to see if there's something in his desk drawer that like has the thing on it? Um, you can look oh, at my desk. Yeah. Um, so I start. Look, I sure. start searching like post-it notes that it would be around his desk or anything that's on his desk to see if he just like wrote his password down. Or um, even just the beginning of binary, <laughs> just to be like, hey, this is the pattern. <laughs> Um, yeah, is there a coding book 101 or, yeah, coding or something book. like that? <laughs> There's no coding 101. There are like a couple of books on his desk in different languages. Like there's one in that appears to be in some Slavic language because the letters look kind of like English, but kind of not. Um, one that looks to be of a uh, language of like perhaps somewhere in Asia because of the way the characters are drawn and then something that looks like maybe French. Are there any four letter words that are circled in these books <laughs> or notated in any way? No. Okay. Someone in the chat did get it right. Someone in the chat got it right. Password? Or I'm open? I'm not going to say who. Okay, so you just start typing and see if it tells us, like, you have X number of tries left. Yeah, let's try. Can't hurt, okay. right? Which one should we try first? I like Try password. time. P-S-W-D. Okay. Uh, P-S-W-D. You're going to have to uh, stop time for the computer to answer oh, you. Oh, shoot. I keep forgetting this. Uh, <laughs> can, can he stop time and then start it again? Like, how fast is that, like, cool? He can... Is there a cool down? He can do it, but it's going to cause stress on him. Oh. Plus, you've got to be able to type it in and then have it well, see if it we works we don't need before. it fully frozen right this second because the, the door is shut. The cameras are down. So. And we know there's not a camera in here. So. 
Well, that's what I mean by down. Like we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> So, okay. Do you want to release okay? last? Is there other stuff for us to look at? Is there stuff, other stuff on his desk or in the drawers? There's like lots of paperwork. There's um, on his desk is the list of the school lunches for the week, and he's highlighted the ones that apparently he wants to order. He's is there anything behind the poster? Tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> the hang in there poster. There doesn't seem to be anything behind the hang in there yeah. poster. Shawshank Redemption. There's just yeah, a no, there's like a secret tunnel or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well I think is is this the last is there anything else in the drawers with Adrian? If this is the last thing, then I feel like we should like just go for it. What 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 uh what friends do you have with you? Do you have Arthur? Or... Oh, me? Uh, yeah, I have. Ar yeah. I always have uh, Henry, my frog. I have Arthur, um, and I also have Rosie, the bird, because I keep her in my pocket just in case we go pineapple and she can fly mm -hmm. to someone. Which one would have the best nose to see if they can smell anything weird or out of the normal? Oh, probably Arthur, the squirrel. I would imagine. Didn't we have Arthur search around a little bit to see if he okay. smells anything weird? I'm gonna Is pull that... out Arthur and I'll just like uh do little pets and be like talking to him, like, oh you're so good, you're so good. Okay, go find anything sus and I'll let him <laughs> loose into the 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 room. All right. You are lucky that because you animate him, he understands what you mean. Because <laughs> otherwise he's a squirrel and he's got ADH what then? So I don't so know if the frog smell. That these are the questions that I don't know. I don't know if frog. I'm assuming. Um, but like smell a squirrel decomposing smells better <laughs> or smells. But anyway, yeah. Um, the squirrel searches the space. Um, he points out to you a sack lunch that has been there a little too long, and the yeah. yogurt's gone bad. Um, it was in the bottom drawer of his desk. Um, he points out a sweater that's a little moth-worn, and it just smells a little stale and a little ew. Um, and that seems to be the only things he points out. Okay. It would be okay to unfreeze time. I think we should unfreeze Unless there's time. any more hanging folders to check underneath, but I'm have you che we checked underneath all of them? Okay. Yeah, I fully right. checked that drawer, didn't I, Rowan? Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you want to, you can find out the psych profiles of all the other students in school. <laughs> but, oh, we could check out Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> or None Lizzie? of you have a file Wait, no, in there Lizzie. because you've there never yet. gone to him as the school counselor. So, okay, I would, I would never, I would never talk to a counselor. So, yeah, <laughs> that's not it. That's not in my character description. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're gonna unfreeze time and attempt to break into the computer. Yeah. Oh, and that means we're gonna get our text message from Penny. Ooh. So which one are you trying first? Ooh. I think we should check the computer first because then we can maybe tell Penny something else. Yeah, to what do. password do you think we should do first? I mean, Let's I see. also like time. I think we I should like... do time. Okay. I'll type in T I M E. Enter. Nope, not it. Does it? Does anything I'm else pop up saying chat, like? Got it. Chat did get it. Um, um, and they had boss, Doug, uh, bear. bear, password, keys, open, Doug. Oh man, four letter. Words. Let's let's try, let's try password. P S W D. Enter. Congratulations, you got it on your second try. <laughs> okay. The time was too clever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, 
I'm in. I hope you read binary. Jeez. Okay. Um, well, we binary. Take some we, pictures. Take some pictures. We are picturing. Take, I'm snapping. Yeah. Well, so is it just, is it in all the files or what does it look like on the screen? Well, it, it takes you into like a old version of Windows, whatever version the school is using. And it's got uh -huh. the documents and there's the folders Windows around. XP. Yeah. And some of the folders are like, obviously like, this is documentation about this student, documentation about that student. Like it has the student's name, last name, comma, first name. And if you go into the documents on the computer, there's a section that's labeled normally. And then there's a section that's labeled in Mandarin. And then there's a section that's labeled oh in binary. Okay. Um. So because the binary one is numbers, I'm going to snap as many pictures as I can of that. Okay. Uh, to we'll pull out the Google Translate app on my phone and yeah, 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 yeah. pulled it up to the Mandarin to see if it can translate it on the fly. It's um, copy-pasted news articles of things happening in China. Uh, in the future uh, or present day? I do day? screen captures. Okay. It's present day China. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, pause you guys for a moment. Penny, oh, yeah. you've sent your reply. You're taking the water into them. And Mr. Doug's phone chimes. He attempts to ignore it, but it oh, keeps no. going off. So he begs an excuse for a moment and heads over to the foyer so he can check his phone. Okay, so I'm like, yeah, totally, absolutely, Mr. Doug, not a problem. And then I immediately text my friends and I'm like, Mr. Doug just got some sort of urgent notification on his phone. What are y'all doing? As um, she's sending this, she's probably getting my like binary, my first binary file photo back to her. Um, and then I'm like, you know, doctor, I just like want to go stretch for a second. Uh, you know, kind of stretching is what I do. And so I just kind of go walk in the foyer sort of behind him. And then I just casually. Superpowered doctor is beginning to suss you. What? Just so you're clear. <laughs> You think someone who's a psychiatrist for supers wouldn't have superpowers yourself? No, we know that she has superpowers. Yeah. But also, I did tell her that I am yeah, not but she's sure like, if, if Doug is a, like, actually properly credentialed. Yeah, she understands person. what's going on, but she's like, why are you following him? She's, and she knows all of your hypothetical questions aren't hypothetical at all. So she's kind of acting like she's going to follow you. <laughs> okay. Like, I'm just, okay, doctor, I'm just going to stretch. Don't worry about me. Uh-huh. Sipping your water. Sure. <laughs> Enjoy your water. I'll, yeah. I'll be right back. And then I quietly go in the foyer. And I use my stretchiness to see if I can stand behind Mr. Doug and look at his phone. What is your notice, Penny? Probably not great. Do you have anything that would help you see what Mr. Doug is up to? Um, athletics? Like, really well, good. Well, she is stretchy. I guess you could... <laughs> Just put her head and neck over a little bit. That's the thing. I'm just, I can stretch more. Okay. Like this. Um, I'm going to let you, out. I'm going to let you roll for it to see if you can accomplish this particular feat. It's going to be a little awkward. <laughs> okay. Um, did I prepare by actually opening up the app with the, the computer with my dice? No, of course not. Um, it's near the very top. Here it is. Okay. Okay. So I rolled a fair 
and then I don't know if I can, if you are actually going to let me use my athletics. You can use your athletics, sure. Okay, then I got a three. Yay! Um, you can see his, you stretch enough to be able to, he's got his back to you, to see his phone screen. Um, it's scrolling really quickly. And then you notice that phone is way too new and expensive for him. For like a public school employee. Yeah. Okay, like, so he's going through too quickly for me newest, to read anything, but I notice that it's a new phone. Right, and think Does of... Does Super Shrink see that? Super, no one else has seen his phone. Um, okay. Think of the... Not even the newest iPhone, but like a prototype of the newest, newest iPhone. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I'm just going to like casually just kind of like go back and just be the doctor. <laughs> All right. Um, the rest of you, what are you planning on doing at school? Also, don't forget, you're supposed to text me back to see if you want me to answer, any, like, if you want me to ask Mr. Doug any questions. I, I, I want us to say yes, because she has backup with the, the other doctor lady. But also um, to emphasize that we're not done yet. Keep talking. <laughs> oh, Shana, you're muted. My bad. Um, <laughs> guys, what do, we, what do we want Penny to ask Mr. Doug? Should we ever, like, casually mention binary code somehow? <laughs> I feel like that would give us away. Yeah. Uh, maybe, um, maybe she can, I, I don't know, I was going to say, like, get him to talk about himself more. I don't know. We need Otherwise, we're going to just confront we, him. We need to find out if he has superpowers. Ask him what he thinks about supers. Did we have we already asked him that? Maybe no. get him talking about what he did before two before. years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He needs okay. to talk about himself more, and maybe he'll like say something that's a clue. Okay. So I text Penny back, and I'm like, Penny, we need to find out more about him. What was he doing two years ago, and where does his interest in binary code and other languages come from? You know French, right? Maybe you could try some French and see if he understands. Okay, so uh, is is Mr. Doug back in the the room with me, the doctor? Yeah, yeah. He's um he's going. I am. He's talking to the doctor. Um, going. I am so sorry, but I am going to have to um I'm going to have to cut this short. Um, I have a emergency happening. And I have to leave. No! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Ship is well dead. Single day. Press the EC. Okay, Jen doesn't uh, speak any other languages uh, than English. Uh, but whatever language you're uh, speaking in. Um, uh, uh, twelve. Is she having a pan? Is this a panic attack? I'm not. Wait, no. <laughs> yes, yes, good. Keep oh. counting. Keep counting. Breathe. Breathe. I'm so sorry. If you can't breathe. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> um. horrendously uncomfortable <laughs> like he doesn't he's a very milk toast dude he's a school counselor and he doesn't know how to properly deal with female emotions <laughs> so he's having some problems uh <laughs> um your counselor is uh let's see 
knows that you're faking it, but is going to go with it because she's trusting in you right now. Um, she may not trust you later, however, depending on how this goes. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Dog, I just, school is so hard and it's just like so overwhelming all the time. And I'm just worried about like growing up and being a failure. So, like, could you tell me, like, how did you become a school counselor? Like, you've been at our school for two years, but, like, what did you do before that? And, like, like where did you go to school? And okay. do I have to go to okay. Harvard to be successful? No, or do no. I have options? Please, you, do you have tell options. Me. You have options. Um, I, I don't know how appropriate it is for me to talk to you about this, but, um, yeah, I went to... I, I went to the state college where I was after my time in the military. And um, when I was finished with my time in the military, I went into school. I, so I am retired um, from, from the Army. And then I, I went and used the GI Bill to get myself uh, my degree. And I have been in schools ever since. Um, before this school, I was in a school in Scottsdale, and um, but I didn't like the weather there, so I moved a place with all the seasons, which is why I'm here. So you say that before you came to our school, like you were at a different school. Was like that your first school, or were like that was just your previous school? And were you a counselor there, or were you something else? Oh, the panic is just gone. I know, it's just like totally. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, I worked in with CPS in Scottsdale. And I decided to become a school counselor instead of using my counseling degree with Child Protective Services. And then I moved here. Oh my God, you worked in CPS. That must have been so tragic. You know, as a babysitter, I like love kids and I just hate for anything to happen to them. You know, like if children were kidnapped from their parents, how do you feel about children being kidnapped from their parents? Does it just make you totally sad? It the is a meter's just going up. <laughs> He is not rolling well, unfortunately. But um, that's lucky. Less, that is lucky. You're lucky that he's currently is so far um, rolled. The best roll has been a negative one. Uh, <laughs> it's like, well, it's it's very distressing that that happens, but I do understand that it happens, and I do understand that our our police and um, there's very many um, human trafficking people who work against that particular issue. Um, so thankfully, it, it's something that we as a society are working to correct. Whatever is the PC appropriate response. Oh, yeah, I'm just like so glad that there are people, you know, like you and the doctor who just care about children, who just really want to make the world a better place. You know, as a super, I really feel like I have this like added responsibility to take care of the people around me. What do you think about supers? Um, I think that they're quite a benefit to society. Um, I think that their existence has really helped us to advance. Um, there, there's so many things that supers are capable of doing for our, us as a people. And I, I like uh, all of the things that they're capable of doing are just so amazing and, and helpful uh, well, as long as they're using it, you know, in a constructive way. But just like everyone, there are, there are good people and there are bad people and, there are people who need to get corrected, and that's the, the same with supers. You are so right. Like, I am super stretchy. 
and I only use my powers for good. So that's like super important to me. That's like one of my values. Um, but you know, I'm just curious, like, what do you mean about like supers using their powers for, um, like, <coughs> like you said that I have choices and like, I don't have to go to Harvard to be successful. Right. Yes, so of course. are you saying that like all supers have choices and all supers, as long as they're not doing bad things, like all <coughs> supers should be able to live their lives however they want? Yes, as, as long as they're not hurting other people, um, as long as they are, you know, contributing positively. Um, everyone has free will and should be able to do whatever they wish, um, as long as they're, you know, not doing, not breaking the rules that we have society have set forth, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, thank you so much, Mr. Doug. Um, so apparently you don't speak French, but like, do you speak any other languages? Because I am super interested in languages and I'm just wondering what I should learn next. Oh, so actually, I like to I... the adults around me. Mm -hmm. I actually do speak French. It's just Jen doesn't speak French. So when you were doing that, I was like, oh, I okay, you. gotcha. <laughs> I was like, mm. uh, yeah, but uh, I actually do speak French and um, I actually am really good at picking up languages. So, um, but I would suggest with the current global climate, the next language to learn would be Mandarin or Arabic because both of those are so important for the global society. Um, so many people speak Mandarin um, and so many people speak at least some dialect of, of Arabic. So being able to read and write in that would be you know, super helpful. So like, do you speak Mandarin and Arabic? And he will reply in both Mandarin and Arabic, yes, I do. Oh my God, Mr. Doug, that's so cool. I'm pretty sure that you were just telling me that you do speak those languages and you were saying it like in those languages. Oh, shit. Say super. <laughs> Come on. He, he is showing off to you for a moment in an attempt to gain your trust. However, the doctor ruled four positives. So now she feels that Doug is sus. Yeah. <laughs> um, so can the I doctor's do on our side. While this is going on. Mm -hmm. uh, I know because they've been talking for a while. Can I like do something while this has been? Because we've been snapping pictures. Yeah. But yeah. Blair wants to text our new high school friend Jeff and okay. ask, "Do you know binary ones and zeros?" Like I'm just gonna ask that question. No, I'm 16. I'll just say, well, we need help. We found some stuff. Do you know anyone who does know by now? Yeah, I'll say that, and, I, and I'll and i say, okay, we'll be at your house soon. Get ready. Don't get scared. Oh, he sends you back the eye roll emoji. <laughs> okay, we got all the pictures, y'all. All right, we need to lock up. And you're going to have to freeze time again, Dimitri, so we can get out of here without any cameras outside seeing. Should I put the bear back while he's freezing time? Yeah. You I... can if you wish. Okay. After he freezes um, time. Make sure you that, yeah. close up everything on the computer that we open. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm just, like, trying to X out as fast as possible. I'll wipe down the keyboard a bit with, like, my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> I put the file back where it was. Lock everything back up. All right. <clears throat> so, um, Mr. Doug finishes attempting to ma build rapport with Penny and then um, excuses himself and Heil tails it out of there. Penny, your shrink informs you that she does she's he is appears to be a okay counselor, but
but she doesn't understand why someone who speaks three languages minimum four languages because he spoke french as well someone who speaks four languages and has a background from the military would want to be a school counselor no offense to your school i'm sure it's a lovely place but he could be earning so much more and potentially have so much more impact if that's something that's so important to him even as a translator. So she's not sure what he's up to. All right, so um, again, for the sake of time, I'm not gonna act this out. I'm just uh -huh. going to, I'm just gonna like honestly break down now and tell the doctor everything that's happened and explain that we think that Mr. Doug might be involved in kidnapping super kids. She does the, oh, process. Okay. Uh, <laughs> she takes the Do you show her our evidence and everything? And I'm like, I have a bunch of photos if you want to see them. And I can also give you extremely detailed memories from the two separate lives that apparently I have lived. She will get as much of this information from you as you're willing to give to her. And she lets you know that she has contacts with people who could do things about this, but for your safety and theirs and her safety, we aren't having this conversation. But she has contacts with people who might be able to do something about this. Who might be able to investigate Mr. Doug and yeah, and, and look into this further than the local government has been able to look into it. Okay, so like, can you do that like anonymously and like not say that I'm your source? Oh just yes, so that of my course. My friends and I are protected because that would be amazing. Because we're just feeling a little in over our heads. Um, it's been really hard to figure out who to trust. If someone is targeting the super community, then the super community needs to know. Okay. Well, and like, if someone is targeting are... super children, the super community will take care of it. Okay, good. Because, like, we're not entirely ominous. sure what's happening, but we're, like, pretty sure that these other two adults are kidnapping super children, and we think Mr. Doug is, like, somehow involved. And we think that that is how we now have two separate memories because the timeline changed. Yeah, she's going to want copies of everyone's diaries and copies of all of this information. And she gives you a different email address that she assures you is encrypted to send all of this information to. And you can now join oh, the and others. Like also, did you get a look at his phone? Because it kind of looked like it was from the future. No, I didn't. It Which looks, is weird. My parents, my parents buy me the best of everything before it's on the market. And I've never even seen this phone before. Which means that it's better than what is coming out next year. Which is what I already have. Yes. I did not see his phone. And that is weird. Mm -hmm. And now that we mm -hmm. talk about it. I didn't really get an emotional feel off of him at all. And I should have. Oh my God. Oh my God. So I'm going to call my friend Stacy. And I think you and your friends should probably hang out here until I tell you that it's safe. Are you comfortable with that? I can tell your mother this. I can make sure that everything is taken care of. But that would be amazing. So my friends are not here right now. Mm -hmm. They're busy. Um, I don't know when they're gonna stop being busy. Her eyes like, narrow I, slightly and they're she's like, You're doing taking this on, on your own, aren't you? Um, so like I can tell them to She come rolled here a plus when... four. <laughs> Uh, 
Wait, so I mean, obviously she knows that I'm lying, but is yeah. she, is she <laughs> probing? Is she probing me to explain? She's yeah. She she's flat out says asks you're you guys are trying to take care of this on your own, aren't you? Um. Okay. So like. Why would we do that? Okay. I mean. <laughs> We tried to get help. The problem is that the first line of help was Mr. was like Mr. Black brought Mr. Doug. And so since Mr. Black was our like super super uh, advisor mm -hmm. and he trusts Mr. Doug, we're like, oh my God, can we trust any adult? But I can get I mean, I why you would... was right to trust you, and I can always have my parents' lawyers sue you if you break the patient-client confidentiality. So I do have that as a backup here. That is not going to be a problem. You are okay. right in there are some adults who are not trustworthy, and there are some that are, and that is a very difficult thing for children to figure out, is which ones are and which ones aren't. Um, I agree with you that Doug is sus. I do know that there was um, a local police matter um, involved that I looked into because your mom told me about you guys getting involved potentially with that. And But I don't think it has been pushed far enough up the chain. So if you'll give me the information you have and let me call my friend Stacy... Um, I will get back to you guys as soon as possible. Okay, I'm going to send you from my encrypted messaging app on my expensive phone uh -huh. all of the files that we have, and you can see that there's some time travel involved, and there's some, some there's codes, and I haven't even looked at these new photos that... Um, I don't know where they're from. They're just they're just photos and code and other languages. They just they have stuff on them. This is you they and your friends. Me. This is a photo what? of you and your friends at a party. Yes. And this is a photo of you. Were you intending to send me photos of you and your friends also? Because if it's not part of the stuff, I don't want to have to upload all of that. Oh, okay. So. My friends broke into Mr. Doug's office and they found these photos about us and I they like sent me all this stuff and I try not to tell you because I know that it's illegal, but like I accidentally sent you all the other styles too and look, he has photos of us. Yes, he has photos of you and this is definitely something that we've got we are looking into right now. Please don't break into I can't believe I have to tell you this, but please don't break into anyone else's offices and okay so like just to be clear <laughs> i have never broken into anybody's office nor would i break into anyone's <laughs> office or home i have also not broken into anybody's home or gone into their like locked basement penny penny i think the less i know right now potentially the better I would okay. very much like it for you to round up your friends and the people that you okay. feel are being targeted by this. And I need to get on the phone right now. Okay. So, so she I'm gonna... backs up and pull and pulls up her phone and, and starts making a phone call. So I'm going to send a group text to my friends and be like, by the way, y'all should also contact Jeff and Jesse and, uh, don't hate me, but I told the doc everything, and she says that y'all need to come to my house where my parents have state-of-the-art security for our safety. <laughs> so after getting that, I'm going to text uh, Jeff and say, uh, change we'll of plan. Down come, the street? Yeah, we're, we're taking you out, uh, or we're in danger. We gotta go. Get your stuff, get your sister. 
now. I'm assuming they're out of the <laughs> office and everything and probably have already left the school by this point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because that's a, that was a long conversation. <laughs> Congratulations! You have engaged the local version of the Justice League into the situation. <laughs> what? <laughs> the Justice okay. Society of America, whatever the version is in this universe, you have engaged the JLA. Awesome. That's so, cool. Avengers, we're like going to meet up. <laughs> All right, so, so I guess we're going to wait outside to see if Jeff and his sister show up, yeah? yeah? Jeff and his sister do show up. It's obvious that he she did not come happily. Willingly. <laughs> yeah, but she is there. All right, so are we going to head to Penny's? Yeah. Well, uh, okay. we'll give, like, the very, like, a... Uh, at, at minimum summary of what's happening and why we're rushing. Mm-hmm. Over to Penny's. We put everything back in place in the office. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. He right. he's doing a lot of dude, and he seems fairly excited that he's not crazy. Fantastic. He's not so... excited that he got shown up by a bunch of grade schoolers. Excuse me. I can't school. believe you don't know binary. Don't Do you, we make I'm it to Penny's? Okay. Yeah, are you? Did we are make it, Penny's? Am I yes. Um, you guys. Ooh, that's a really good question. I should verify. Oh, yes, you make it, to Penny's. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to get some like exciting fighting action going. <laughs> I'm like, did we make it there? <laughs> I'm trying to not have you guys get in fisticuffs because you are, after all, 13-year-olds. Mm. Um, tweens. 12. 13. So. Tweens. Um, but if you want to, I guess you can. Um, so, Penny, Jeff and Jesse and everybody else shows up at your back door because they're coming through the woods. I do the little secret knock that's just for super sitters. Password? Yes, WT. <laughs> no. What's our password? Okay. Pineapple. Okay. Okay. Fire? Sounds like sounds like you. <laughs> Come on in. Oh my god, I'm so glad that you're able to get Jeff and Jesse. Jesse, I know that all this sounds super crazy, but look, we have an adult involved. She's super smart. She has a PhD and she's going to help us. So I've already laid out snacks in the basement. Um, so just for fun, I even got out all of the flavors of seltzer water. I know. Oh, yes. just, I just want all of you to feel safe here as we wait to find out what's going to happen next. Adrian's run to grab snacks before... Penny could even finish her sentence. <laughs> well, um, about a half your professor, the, sorry, your psychiatrist left because while talking on the phone. Um, and about a half hour after she left, there's a ring at your doorbell. Okay, so, like, um, the doorbell is ringing. I don't... Who's going to go up with me to look? Because I feel like safety in numbers. I'll go. I, I have my bird, mm, just in case. Stop. Okay. I can stop time so we can see who's at the door. Perfect, Dimitri. Yes. That is great. Okay, so... Jeff where? is very interested in joining you guys. Jessie just wants to keep playing the game on her phone. Okay, so... So Adrian and Jesse, or yeah, y'all are gonna stay down here. I'll stay with gonna... Jesse. Thank you so much, Adrian. You are the best. So the rest of us are gonna go upstairs. Okay. Okay. All right, Dimitri, can you freeze time? I went before Dimitri freezes. I'm gonna get my little bird like ready. I don't even know how that would work, but we'll get it ready. All right. All right. 
And when she's ready, I will freeze time. Okay. And so then I'm going to look at our little fancy, like, door cam thingy and see who is on the front step. It's Mr. Doug. Alone? Yep. By himself. Oh, you guys, Sorry, it's someone Doug. just rang our doorbell. That's. Uh oh, it's Mr. Doug. <laughs> it's Mr. Doug. It's Mr. Doug. It's Mr. Doug. <laughs> no, it's the game just dialogue. got meta. Shit <laughs> just got real. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys, it's Mr. Doug, and um, so he thinks that we're cool. So I don't know if I should like let him. Oh, no, you know, know what? I can here. talk to him through yeah. the intercom, and I can say that oh, yes. uh, my parents are putting my brother to bed right now, and since it's after 8 o'clock, I'm not allowed to open the door to anybody. Okay? Right. Okay. So, um, Dimitri, can you unfreeze time? Reluctantly... Sure. This feels like a bad idea, but okay. okay. So I'm I'm just gonna like press y'all. I don't actually have one of these in real life, so I'm kind of making up how they work. Fair. Um, you would work from your phone. It uh, so it's like, oh my god, Mr. Doug, it's so good to see you again. Um, so I am not allowed to let anyone into the house after eight o'clock. Um, do you want to talk to one of my parents? They're like upstairs putting my little brother to bed, and he's super particular about his bedtime routine, so I would hate to interrupt it. As a mental health professional, you understand the importance of routines for children. Yeah. So I don't think you would want to screw up my little brother, but like if it's super important, I can go get one of my parents. It, it's not that important, dear. I just left my sweater when I was here earlier. I can even stay out here on the porch if you want. If you could just grab me my sweater, that would be really appreciated. You know what? Um, I can just bring you the sweater in school tomorrow. Um, Cause I'm, oh, I'm actually about ready. Oh, I got a bed myself, and mm -hmm. um, I've already like closed down the basement for the evening where we were having our little awesome powwow earlier. But I can totally go find it for you in the morning, and I can just bring it to school. Okay. I would appreciate it if you would bring it first thing, because it does get a little cold in my office. So thank you. Of course. Anytime, Mr. Doug. You have an amazing evening, and I will see you at school tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye. And he leaves. He leaves? What? Whew. You guys cannot believe that worked, but, you know, let's go back downstairs. He's, like, hyperventilating in the corner a bit. Jeff <laughs> is kind of freaking out a little bit. Cause oh, is that his first time uh, with time stopping? A, that was his first time with time stopping. B, that was his first time seeing your Mr. Doug, and it's the same Mr. Doug that he remembers. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah. yeah. And Confirmation. C, he wants to go um, physically <laughs> remove information from this gentleman, whether he's willing to share it or not. <laughs> okay. Um, no. But he's right there. And there's okay, yeah. five of us. Listen, you just got to do what Penny says. We've already caused so much trouble today, and I think it's it's time to just chill. But he's right there. I know. He looks know. you it guys is, in the eye. Rules. He looks you guys in the eye and says, let me go after him. You all need to make a will save. Uh-oh, is his superpower about to blast us? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I rolled so well. Five. Oh. Dang. Um, I rolled badly, and I only have a plus one, so I have a one. I'm not upstairs, but I rolled a two. I rolled a three, and my will is a two, so I got a five. All right. If you rolled under a four, 
you want to let him go after Mr. Doug. If you rolled a four or higher, you do, your opinion has not changed on this situation. I'm not upstairs, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, I mean, like, I guess if you want to go, Jeff, like, you can. Um, hey. uh, you no. have given us a really persuasive argument somehow. Maybe it's because of... House rules! How... Didn't the doctor I'll go and say find the that plaque that has all look. the house rules on it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would know. <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm the one who likes to go off and do wild stuff. I don't think this is a good idea. Were you, did you live in Scottsdale before, Jeff? Is that how you met Doug? It was one of the places we lived, yeah. Yeah. So this man is very dangerous, even though he puts on his little, like, glasses and he's like, oh, I'm Mr. Doug. No, he's very dangerous. I know that I... We could probably take him, because there's a lot of us. But also, we don't know if he has powers. He could overpower you real fast. Mm. I am just, like, super confused now. Because somehow I, like, didn't think that Jeff should go after him. But then, like, I did think that Jeff should go after him. But, like, now I don't know if Jeff should go after him. It's Jeff's is there power something we persuasion. could roll to see if we catch that yeah, he <laughs> did that? Did he do something? Yes, you can. <laughs> well, what do you think would be appropriate in this situation? Notice. Um, I have lore. Oh. I, I would have... agree that notice is correct. Lore is kind of book smarts. I have rapport and empathy. You can, I would say you can roll empathy against yourself to realize if your opinion was changed involuntarily. Okay, cool. I like that idea. And you can totally roll your notice to notice if Penny's acting freaking weird. Oh, um, no. I got a three on empathy. Ooh, what about deceive? Since it would, I mean, if it's a special superpower, is it, is it attempting to deceive us or just control us? I don't think Deceive would work in that particular situation because he's not trying to lie. So I'm going to use another fate point because I've rolled a negative three. Wow, yeah. <laughs> okay, do you want to re-roll? You... I'm re-rolling. <laughs> okay. Um, this time I got a plus three plus my notice is four, so seven total. Epic. Epic. Yeah, you know very well. Like, you could tell... Penny, the moment that her opinion changed, um, and you can also tell that you and um, and Dimitri fought it off. Like you noticed the moment when you guys effectively won your will saves. Oh, Jeff, you are super. Listen, okay, 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 Penny. You're always the responsible one. How is it that you changed your mind so fast? You always know the right answer. You know right from wrong, like the back of your hand. I, Jeff, I think you did that with your mind or something. He was really excited about this. Like, ooh, ooh uh, tell me to, tell me to spill water. Do something that yeah, I would yeah, never yeah. do in pain. We can do something. <gasps> okay, look. What? If you spill water, you, you well, you know where the towels are. You've got we'll to be in the kitchen, up. not on carpet, I promise. Make sure it's not on the carpet. That seems like a silly thing, because then you would just spill water on the ground on purpose and say, see, you have superpowers. Okay, no, tell me to do something really I wouldn't normally do. But... <laughs> I still have the list. Here's the list of rules of Penny's house. I would yeah. never break Dimitri any of these rules voluntarily. Rules. Mm -mm. Dimitri's my best friend. He knows what's up. Um... Okay, chat, what should he tell him to do? Because <laughs> Rowan is like, mm. All right. He's going to look you intently in the eye. Yeah, I was going to say running. Like, yeah. Running, no running. <laughs> in the hallway. <laughs> That, that works, Steph. 
He's like, this is so ridiculous. But he looks you in the eye and says intently, run. Mm-hmm. And you hear that do 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Since I'm wanting to be affected by it, do I not just not roll? Or do I need to roll to see if I just... My will's like, it's still Penny's house, I can't... Yeah, you have to roll anyway. Actually, no, I would want to try to You want to try it. to... You want to try to block it? Um, unfortunately... Yeah, just so he can see. He's not as passionate about this as he was before. <laughs> it seems silly to him. So you kind of feel like maybe a bit of a nudge of you should do this, but you don't really like it. You, you know better than to run in Penny's house. You know what? At this point, if you want to go after Mr. Doug and tell him to stop doing what he's doing, I think you should go for it. I believe you can because you have superpowers. Well, Mr. Doug isn't on the front porch anymore. He's Oh, he's exit. not. Darn it. Yeah, he left. Like you guys told well, him to. Well, you can just chase after him. <laughs> <laughs> um... Do you guys have okay, a better? Okay. So look, I have to take Mr. Dog his sweater tomorrow at school. So, and do you take Jesse to school in the morning? Cause like you pick her up from cheer practice. So why well, don't you just go with me in the morning when I take the sweater back to Mr. Doug? Yeah, I can skip first first period. I don't care. Um. So the high school starts later than the middle school. Okay. So so we should be okay then. Yeah. All right. I'd have to, like, book it to be able to make the bus, but yeah. What if you convince your sister about this? I can't convince my sister of anything. No, she Wait. probably also, she has the opposite power than you, probably. Oh. She is the most That's stubborn, like... obnoxious, I can hear you! <laughs> you hear from the basement. <laughs> Wait, so, like, maybe her superpower is that she can't be convinced of things. <gasps> or maybe superpowers don't work on her? Yeah. Oh, my God. We Could should do an experiment. Adrian, mm-hmm. you should play music and see if it affects Jesse. Can I hear them talking upstairs? Oh, that's right. Downstairs? Sorry, I forgot that Adrian I don't know if You guys quiet. can hear that they're talking, and Jessie keeps, uh, her agitation okay. level is racketing, ratcheting up, but you can't exactly hear what they're saying. Okay. okay, so I, I say the point. suggestion to Dimitri and Blair and Jeff, and I'm like, let's go downstairs yeah. and have Adrian play music for Jessie. And not tell Jessie why. Okay. You guys so go downstairs. downstairs. Um, and Adrian, you Adrian. can play a lovely song. Uh, what song do you want to play? Adrian. Whispers. Okay. Whisper, well, whisper. what do you want? What do you want me to make her do? What do you want me to make happen? Just like. Should I make her kiss Dimitri? Ew, gross. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, you should make her be super appreciative of Jeff and think that he's like the best big brother ever. Because she's always complaining day. about him. Yeah. Should I make her hug him? Mm-hmm. I don't know if your music, I mean, you can try. Your music is, your music has definitely been getting stronger. So you could possibly do that as opposed to just like affecting. Yeah, I like, never, I've, super happy, I've never like, made like, people do things. I've only made things do things, but I could try and see if I can like, See if you, you can know. just make her, like, super, super happy yeah. and make her feel like she wants to hug her big brother. Or a group hug. I love group hugs. Look at Jesse. Do you hug your brother I don't want to hug. I don't, I don't want to hug. She looks at you, she, buried, I, and then, like, no. Okay, so oh. that's a good one. Jesse, <laughs> Jesse, you want me to play you a, a song that I've been working on recently? Sure. Jeff right, volunteers so. that they do occasionally chase each other around the house and try to pin the other person to the floor. And she's like, he's, and he thinks it's hilarious because he, you know, is stronger and bigger. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that in my house. So on the rule board. Here. It's rule yeah, 37. It's literally on the rule board. board. Okay. Wow, you guys have a rule board. That's impressive. Well, we actually, we have a framed copy in each level of the house. 
All right. Yeah. So it's updated annually just to make sure Adrian it's in compliance. Adrian pulls out his guitar. <laughs> and, um, Jeff's a little creeped out by you guys. A, a happy little ditty on the guitar. Okay. All right. And he's like, I wish that I was Jesse's girl. Just kidding. That's not what he's singing. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. He's like, he's like, let's hug. Jessie wants to hug her brother now. She's so happy. Life is happy. <laughs> Let's hug. It's, she it's, looks it's at you like you're growing a third eye. And then she's like, what is this, the Partridge family? No. Do any of us have the urge to hug Jeff? <laughs> the rest of you haven't hugged or urge Jeff. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with you people? You're so weird. <laughs> so, Jesse, are you like saying that that song didn't make you like, super happy and potentially interested in hugging your brother? No. Oh my Thanks. gosh. Okay, so um, the rest of us don't really have influencing skills, so. Yeah, Jesse, I have super exciting news for you. And that's an emphasis on super. I think you're a super just like we are. Oh, I am not joining your little club. Well, I mean, you would have to pass a background check and take the first aid and CPR certification. No, no, I don't course. mean babysitter's club, your little clicky super kids thing. I'm. Sorry, you guys are nice and all, but ugh, no. And um, there's no way I'm a super. We're just friends. The only club is the Super Sitters Club. Otherwise, we're just friends. And, like, we do different activities and stuff. Um, But, yeah, you're, you're a super. Mm. And also, you should hang out with us because apparently supers are getting taken. So... You know, you, you're going to have to stay with us. Have you seen that guy, Mr. Doug? He's a creep. Yeah, the school yes. counselor. No. He wanted to make sure we were comfortable in our moving in. Wait. He, what? Wait, what? He yeah. went to your house? Well, no, not to our house. He, he came up, oh. t pulled me out of English <gasps> to make sure that we were comfortable because we had just moved into town and he asked a lot of questions about how Should we show her what we found? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. What kind of questions did he ask? Like how we're fitting in and how I'm handling the moves, plural, and all that other stuff. Wait, wait. So, but how did Mr. Doug know that you've moved more than once? I don't know. I'm assuming it's a part of my school record or something. I mean, we've been a lot of places my school records got to be like have a dozen different head headings on it or something Interesting. i mean Jesse, i have no look idea what we found in his office i show her the pictures um we probably shouldn't have told jesse about that but it's really you now. what no, i trust he her no she's really to be protected so you guys actually became slightly cooler in your, your eyes because you've done b and &E? Um, just so you know, and we became, we became what? Sorry. Your mic sounded weird for a second. Sorry. You've become slightly cooler in her eyes because you have done B and E. Oh, <laughs> she's like, what? And she's looking at the stuff you guys have from her on the tablet. And she's like, okay. Yeah. That's super creepy. Why would he have photos of you guys? translate binary while they're talking. Thank goodness. <laughs> Do you remember what your brother was saying all these times that he's talked to you about moving, Jesse? Yes. He's constantly talking to our try like we move someplace and then a couple months later it's we've got to leave, we've got to leave and I'm like no, no, no. And then he like gets mom and dad convinced that we got to leave and we I, we never even unpack all the way half the time. Like, we Doug don't bother hanging pictures anymore. There's no point. 
Think about Mr. Doug's face. Does he look familiar to you? I mean, maybe, uh, let's see if she can remember. Yeah, I mean, kind of, but he's, he's kind of, you know, generic. Almost too generic? I mean, maybe. I mean, he's a boring looking dude. Like, average boring? Like, really average boring? Yeah. He wears sweaters like Mr. Rogers. Look, it's just like, it's entirely possible he's not human. Like, normal human? Or, like, he's a robot? Like, he might be a robot. What? Okay. Okay, look. So, I know it sounds, like, a little crazy, but see, here's the thing. He knows a lot of languages, and mm -hmm. including binary, and, like, yeah, I totally learned binary at science camp last year, but I can only count to 36 in binary. No. See, I don't even remember how I can count. I can only count with one hand in binary. Um, but he knows, he, like, has writing in binary, which is like a computer, so like a yeah. robot. Oh, okay. That, that is admittedly weird. Yes, I will give you that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, there was something that my doctor said during our, like, little session earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I have a feeling that she's an empath. She hasn't totally revealed her superpower, but, like, She's a really good, very expensive psychiatrist who is a super. Mm -hmm. And she said that she couldn't, like, feel anything coming from him. Hmm. Robot. Okay. Weird. Robot. You guys are weird. There is just a pile of weird happening in this house. And I'm stuck here because my brother convinced my parents that we had to come over and spend the night at his new friend's house. Thanks. Oh, um, Jeff. also, by the way, I think we forgot to tell you. So, um, have you accepted that you're a super? Because you're probably a super. Also, Jeff is a super. <laughs> I'm sorry. No offense, bro. But there's nothing super about him. So, Jeff is super persuasive which is how he convinces your parents to like move all the time. And your superpower is that you have the like strongest of wills. And so you only change your mind when presented with like super good hard logic that would make you change your mind if you had discovered the information on your own. At least I'm thinking that's how your power works. We haven't really had time wait, to figure wait, it out wait. yet. Oh, she wait. She said that it's only when he's alone with the parents that they are convinced. She probably blocks. <gasps> so she blocks the effects of any superpower. Wait, we can do another Let's test. Do a stretchy thing. Like, touch her and do a stretchy thing. Ew! Ew, no! No, ew! Ew! Okay, yes, I agree that it's weird, now that I think about it, that, Jeff, you've convinced our parents to move so many times. That I'm almost willing to give you because I've seen you like convince bullies to just walk away and all this other stuff. Oh, that but I don't agree that I'm a super. Ooh. Okay, okay, but, but like here's Jeff, <gasps> you need to like Oh my god, step back. what if touch her and stretch, touch what her and stretch. If... Here, Jesse. Ew, ew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she that does some ew ew and tries to run away from the touching and stretching. Um so you're going to have to attempt a grapple to attack, like, touch her. <laughs> I mean, okay, Penny's um, super have... stretchy, so I think she can reach her. <laughs> I, I have athletics. Can I roll athletics? You're going to have to roll your athletics because she is doing her best dodge and weak. Uh, not great. It's a plus two overall. Okay. 
she has successfully gotten you to nearly tie yourself in a knot as she is dodging and weaving and ducking behind things um, because she's also very athletic. Dang it. Dimitri, while she's distracted with Penny, make her freeze time, please. Okay, I go to freeze time. Okay. Um, you weren't, were you touching anybody, Dimitri, when you froze time? Um, I would try to grab Penny so that she can detangle herself and touch Jesse. Okay. So can I use everyone my else to help Dimitri like target Jesse, like to kind of trip her up to like or so that she's easier to. The way we talked out um, Wolfie's power exists is that time stops relative for him. So everything else stops except him and the person he's touching. Oh, okay. So he can touch Penny. And stop everyone else, and you two will be frozen relative mm. to them. So right. you see a shift in time or shift places in the room real quick type mm. of thing. To you guys' vision, it looks like they stutter or drop frames. So, so Penny can untangle herself. Penny can untangle herself. She has all the time in the world. <laughs> all right oh good stretch <laughs> and she can grab jesse <laughs> when you become when you physically touch jesse your arm snaps back like a rubber band oh my god still been touching penny so would that have unstopped time well you would have to roll if you're trying to keep time. Otherwise, you two get knocked. Oh, no. As and... soon as she touched, I would have let go of time. Okay. So that... Yeah. Oh, my God. Jesse, did you see that? I saw you guys, like, shimmer. Oh, my God. Because of the whole time thing. She, like, didn't see that I unstretched. Okay, okay. Wait, what um, happened? I... Oh, are you guys okay, okay if we go just a little bit longer? Because we are very close, but we are over time. Are you guys yeah. cool with that? All right. I'm okay. Yeah. Um, so I just I explained that we just did the whole time thing and that I Oh my gosh, she like totally blocked my superpowers. This is why my bug died. <gasps> Wait, oh, what? This that is was why you? Your bug died. <laughs> oh. I washed my hair with very intense chemicals for a Weak because of that disgusting slimy bug in my hair. That yeah. was you. Go stand behind Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse is very angry. Jeff is finding this hilarious. Please continue. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, they did that. I gave them quite the stern talking to Basically, afterwards. Penny doesn't do anything wrong. <laughs> It's just always our chaos. <laughs> so, sorry, but you were being mean to her. So. so, let's see how Jesse reacts. Um, Blair does not know what Jesse to does not react um, well. Uh, she is, like, upset and threatening to call her mom. Not that it'll do any good because Jeff will just convince them that she's, you know, talking BS again. And there's much angry words and frustration coming from Jesse. Jesse, like, it's totally going to be fine. Don't worry about it. Um, Blair is super sorry. And we really need you to stay here because you're a super now and literally Mr. Doug is involved with kidnapping supers. Like, like super kids, like us, like you. So can you stay in the basement here at my very well protected parents' house? We promise not to put any more bugs in your hair. Jeff turns to Dimitri and says, what can I make Penny's parents do? 
What? Look over at Penny and back at him, like very, very concerned. Wait, I'm sorry. What? What? So what? like, I'm trying to think. Like, you guys are saying I have this power. I want to test it. The only person who I think wouldn't do it to get me to play along with their little game is your parents. So what should I get your parents to do? Penny's parents mm. would never go buy plastic water bottles. <gasps> oh, they wouldn't. Oh, they would never. They, they would also never eat some of Penny's snacks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. yes. Let's not kill the environment for the sake of a test, okay? My parents would never eat my animal crackers, and they would never eat Dimitri's cheese ball. One of so, each. what okay. if you have that? They're not them... into red dye number nine. Yeah. Ooh. What if you, like, convince my parents to have a snack of our Oh, They're probably Ooh, have a my cheese ball and, and some soda. Oh, yeah. They don't They'd really never do that after 8 o'clock. Yeah, mm. especially, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, they're done putting my brother to bed, so I can go grab them and... Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I go upstairs, I grab them, I bring them to the kitchen, and I told everyone to come to the kitchen. Okay. So... Jeff is hanging out with your parents and this is apparently very awkward and weird for him but he um it you all are passing snacks back and forth and well, at one point make sure that jesse is not nearby so that yeah jesse's like on the other work. side of the room yeah. and she's standing there with her arms crossed scowling and he offers your parents uh animal crackers and soda and like stuff and says here and cheesy poos and says here eat this and your parents proceed to eat snacks and drink soda and torn that was my last soda but it proved it they don't blink an eye they don't seem like it's a weird thing at all. Of course I will gladly eat these crackers and cheesy poofs and drink this soda. How really? are you guys doing? You guys ready for bed? We've got blankets and things. Are you guys have enough bed uh, bedding down there? Yeah, yeah. Got got some extra sleeping bags and, you know, little roll-up mattresses. And Jeff stuff. looks at and your you're... dad and says, can I, I'm going to take a kitchen knife for protection. And your dad says, Sure, and hands him a kitchen knife. It's one of the ones with a sheath on it, you know. But your dad just hands him a kitchen knife. Hey, Jesse, do you want to come in the kitchen, like, right now? Jesse. <laughs> Jesse. Jesse, come Jesse here. comes into the room and stands next to your brother. Next okay, to your brother. Okay, so, Excuse me. Um, hey, Mom, Dad, how do you mm -hmm. feel about Jeff having a knife? You know, maybe that, on second thought, maybe that's not such a good choice. Um, mm -hmm, we've got mm -hmm, a really mm -hmm. good security system. They yeah, we do. gently take the yeah. knife from his hand. And, you know, we'll be fine. Put it back in the drawer. Um, mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. why don't you guys, like, just be good, have a good night, and um, do I... S yeah, I, I'm i not feeling the best. I think I I think I ate something that's not agreeing with me, so I'm, I'm we're just going to head out but you guys be good okay bye mom my dad good and night. Night. Pat, pat 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 deliver hugs to anyone who wants them and then exit yeah no hugs they, they're aware okay. that you guys don't want hugs so they bye okay jeff jesse do you two believe that y'all have superpowers now jeff seems excited about it and Jesse is not. But they agree with you. They have superpowers. So should we just go to sleep or what are we going to do? For sake of time, where do you want us to go? Yeah. Well, for sake of time, um, you guys have figured out the final thing. And I can give you an epilogue, if you will. Yeah, because I really just want to know who the children are and who's kidnapping them. Okay. Um, but we, we have we have the super community. 
yeah, on it. Yeah. Um, like the Irvin. local version of the Justice League does break up a group of mis un misguided supers who thought that they were helping the world by taking super villains and trying to re-educate them to be good people instead of villains by kidnapping them when they're children and trying to program them before the age of six to be good people and then put them back where they belong. Interesting. Yeah. Um, it's, so a, it's a strategy. It was, it was their strategy. Um, Mr. Doug was, um, had apparently been one of their successes in the past. Um, he had been a supervillain and they had proved to him that he had been a supervillain and had convinced him that they had recuperated him. What's is that the right word? Rehabilitated. Re thank you. Rehabilitated him. And so he was helping them in their goal of taking supervillains like Jeff, who was a supervillain because he didn't realize until he was mid adult, like in his twenties, that people would do what he told them to do. So it didn't go well when he realized that. And he became a supervillain. Now we he... made him realize it sooner. <laughs> Since you guys it. have given him, think of Kincaid from Jessica Jones, only not realizing that that's what was going on. And not realizing because when he's around supers, they have the opportunity to um, save against his will. And he's got a sister, and her superpower is that no superpowers work on her or around <gasps> her. So he didn't realize until he was off to college and far away from his sister what he could do and what he had so been what doing was his whole Doug's life. power if he was a reformed or a rehabilitated? Doug can speak any language. Mm. Okay. He can speak to computers. Not a robot. Can, no, not yeah. a rug butt. He can speak <laughs> any language. That's why he's useful to... Yeah, okay. Um, and he was not using that particular ability for good reasons in the military. Uh-huh. At all. And um, in this version of his life, he has reformed to good, but before he was using it for nefarious purposes. Cindy wants to know, how does Doug not show emotion to empaths? Yeah, so um, the, the, the psychiatrist was having issues with him. Yeah, he has lots and lots of training on protecting his mind. Okay. I assume part of that would come from maybe the rehabilitation. They might have stunted some kind of yeah. I mean, emotional capacity. He has, he's been rewritten effectively like you guys have but he was rewritten a couple of times so what about the kids yeah so they were so that the misfits are time travelers which is how they they steal children mm -hmm. so they were like gonna get caught or something and that's why they escaped and then they reset time and that's how wand and dimitri switch places yeah and george and georgina have traveled time so many times and rewritten the timeline so many times that they're both effectively insane at this point. Oh, great. Because they've got... Which is why they hundreds. think they're doing good. Yeah, yeah, they're completely convinced that they are doing good. George travels through time and Georgina can travel through space. Um, and so wait, were they trying to kidnap Jeff and Jeff and Jesse? I think I missed that part. Yeah, they were trying to commit kidnap Jeff. They didn't realize Jesse was a super. Okay. Um, cause does Jeff become a super villain? Yes. Okay. Does he still become a super villain after this? No, he does not. Because Yay. he's able to get appropriate counseling and training on how to use his powers at a young age. And does friends. Jesse become our friend? Yeah. Eventually, but she's really reluctant in the beginning. She's very about... seems right. I feel like she would hang out with us in the woods. I feel like she would definitely hang out with us and maybe do a little breaking and entering. What about Victor and uh, Lu uh, Lex? 
Victor and Lex yeah. are returned to their families. I almost said Luther. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. Um, <laughs> Victor and Lex are returned to their proper timelines and proper families by the effectively JLA. But the JLA, like, leaves appropriate... Both of them, according to George and Georgina's research, became supers because of traumatic things that happened in their childhoods. So when they put them there, they also made sure that these kids would have proper, like, counseling and support and people to help them through their traumatic childhoods in an attempt to make it so that they would not end up becoming evil, but we won't know until we're older and grow up whether or not that worked. Right. Does anything... So the the chat was asking what happened to Wanda. Um, I don't know if they just missed it or if they are... like. Does this change anything? No, with her timeline has been in? changed and she's living in Arizona with her family. And I'll she and her brother are fine. Does she regain any memories of what we went through? If you guys... In the other timeline? Um, it, no, true. She probably... Yeah. If she's willing to put in the effort and the will, she can have both sets of memories. Um, supers will. Non-supers don't have that opportunity. Okay. <laughs> Season two, grown-up supers. Season two could be them in high school. Season two could be all kinds of different things. If you guys, if the players decide to have a season two, that is an opportunity. Um, I'm glad that you guys seem to have liked this particular game. Oh, this was so, so much fun. Rowan, I've I had a great have, time. I have no idea. Like, you had to do so much work when we decided to go for the time travel plot line. And continued to make everything more complicated every time we play. Just like, no, give me more rooms to break into, please. <laughs> <laughs> but, what does this say? <laughs> but every time you guys took me on a tangent, I tried to find a way to bring it back to the point, right? Because, like, you guys took us to the football game, so I'm like, okay, we'll introduce Jesse. I know, And we'll have that man. in here. Yeah. And um, so I, I tried to keep us on track no matter how far off track you guys push um but my main goal well, was you did a great for job tonight was yeah. for you guys to figure out what was going on with jeff and jesse so because that was the last mystery mm -hmm. that i had pulled out for you guys and i wanted you to figure that one out it was that awesome. was exciting well thank you so much for hanging out with us all and for being here where we tell stories because those who tell the stories rule the world um, that's a quote from Plato, I believe. Who would like to do the shameless plug portion of the evening? Who wants to go first? <laughs> it's always like, who wants to go first? I'll start. Um, so I've been doing 12 days of streaming-ish. I don't know. Hogwarts Legacy keeps posting news and updates. So my schedule has changed. But basically... Um, until December 24th, I'll be streaming live somewhere, either YouTube or Twitch. Uh, so I've been counting some of my existing streams on YouTube as the day, because I'm not going to stream more than once for my already planned streams. Uh, but we did some decorating on the first day. I did this, like, makeup thing uh, today. So um, I'm probably going to be playing more games now for the rest of the time, so you can Check me out on Twitch, um, twitch.tv slash wizardphd, or youtube.com slash wizardphd. Sweet. Thank you. Wolfie, did you want to do a shout Rita? out? Or... Frida or Shanna? Um, sure. So I have a general Harry Potter YouTube channel. So a little bit of Hogwarts Legacy and other Harry Potter games, and then Harry Potter vlogs. So my latest posted video um, is from when we had the Harry Potter meetup in Atlanta, which is super fun. Um, what I'm hoping to edit tomorrow and then publish next week is my vlog from when Dan and I went to the Yule Ball in Houston, which was amazing. Um, mm -hmm. And then Dan and I just filmed a uh, Harry Potter candy taste test yesterday. 
So I just need to get uh, those clips together and do some math because I'm also sharing the value of that. And I'm going to send that to Mario to edit instead of trying to edit it myself. Um, but yeah, so if you like really random Harry Potter content and if you want to watch somebody who goes to all of the Harry Potter things in the country and London, <laughs> all of that's on my channel. <laughs> We'll see. Did you want to go next? I'll go last. Uh, I will. I will be the pimp for my wife's work. Um, Aww. So, Please do. Uh, every Friday evening, join Rowan Reese. Uh, we are in Lee. Uh, what is it? Lee Jordan's. Lee Jordan uh, tour guide. Tour guide. Lee Jordan. Let me get the cat out of the way here. Um, as well as the Etsy store that she has opened up, which will constantly be adding new merch as soon as we can create it so if you have any suggestions or things you would like to see let us know if you guys haven't seen her ilver morning merch it's really awesome i'm the only reason i'm not wearing my shirt is because it's dirty so, <laughs> i wore it twice already it's dirty <laughs> um but you should definitely check it out guys yes i will um, second that it looks amazing um Mine, it's technically dirty only because we just got back from Houston and I'm catching up on laundry and I have not done my white cold load yet. So, but. Um, I wore mine on Monday, so you can start that stream and see it at the beginning <laughs> where I talk about it. Sweet. <laughs> um, but as a preview, Dolores, or sorry, Dorothy Dumbridge Dolores. will be coming back to a uh, talk about how it's Merry Christmas and not Happy Holidays. So, um, wearing her new Ilver Morning shirt. <laughs> All right. Oh, so, <laughs> I just have to do laundry and film. Love it. Um, I've been doing Vlogmas. I know it's not like real-time Vlogmas, but I've been really good about editing and uploading vlogs to kind of catch up as my Vlogmas. It's and then nice. eventually we'll be caught up in real time. The next one coming out is actually from Atlanta. Um, we're working on editing that now. And then um, hopefully before the month is over, we'll be caught up in real time. So that that's kind of how my, my Vlogmas marathon has been going and then of course you know we're doing our typical streams phasmo had a really big update so hopefully if my upload speeds are working we'll be playing that tonight um and yeah keeping keeping on keeping on you know come hang out it's a good time and um i wanted to give a shout out to whoever my sock exchange person was because i've gotten three pairs of socks in the mail now with no mm -hmm. notes so i have no idea who it is but they sent me this i'm a girl what's your superpower socks that's that they cute. just arrived and i'm like dude these are so appropriate for me so obviously they know me well because then we got these deathly hollow socks and these love is love socks they're awesome Aww. i have no idea who uh it is so, I still Rowan, need to mail the socks that I got for my, us? or I bought for my face. first time. <laughs> no, Rowan, do you want to know who it is? Yes. It's Dan. Oh! oh. oh. And he, he picked that, like, he got all of those himself. Oh. So. That's, That's so really sweet. cute. That's really cute. Well, give him an extra hug for me tonight. Like a really and No, it's one. not Shanna. Yeah, like a really stretchy <laughs> one. Like a really stretchy one. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, I finally put mine in the mail yesterday, and by I put them in the mail, I mean I made Dan put them in the mail um, because I had to commute to work yesterday, and I do not have any extra time on the days I have to go to work, like in person. Um, I had to Amazon mail it for me. So much easier. Um, yes, and that is normally what I do but I wanted because we got to go we since we were in Houston um we were staying for the for the Yule Ball we were staying at this like fancy hotel um on point uh but by a super fancy mall and mm -hmm. the super fancy mall had a hot topic and a box lunch nice okay oh nice have really great nerd things 
So definitely had a lot of fun picking out nerd socks and then, you know, came home and they're not wrapped very well because Dan wrapped them for me too. <laughs> so. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all so much for hanging out with us today um, and for the whole stream. We really appreciate you being here with us while we've told these stories. We hope you'd enjoyed it. And um, please check us out in our other locations doing the other things that we do. Um, so thank you all so much again. And remember, um, if people can hate for no reason, then we can love for no reason. So we love all of you, whether you want us to or not. Meh. Nah. Uh, the other one what do you do with your thumb you, you i don't know do how to do little it little thing i don't like i literally I like, like this i you take your thumb and you, you, you it's put your thumb your... behind your pointer finger and it makes a heart like this yep yeah just like that okay it feels weird <laughs> love y'all i'm gonna i'm gonna go with my taylor swift heart bye, bye.